everyone, it's Melissa and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we'll be making an amethyst necklace using Softflex specialty kit. Um, that's the design kit with the theme. And I'll be using the pendant from this kit and it's a little spoon that says, I am brave, fearless, and strong. And I'm gonna be pairing that with some beautiful amethyst beads from Artistic Beads and Studio, a local bead shop in Placerville, California. And I will go ahead and leave a link down below to the website and then their Instagram for the live sales as well. We'll be using Softlex wire in this gorgeous purple amethyst color. Thinking of using the Tanzanite Softlex, but I kind of like the darker color with the purple. And since it was already kind of strung on a darker purple thread, it looked really pretty with that. I'm going to use some of the last crystals from my snowy day kit and um, these ones were just my favorite they're just so full of sparkle and they're just a crystal ab so i thought that would look really good just that pop of sparkle um, with that charm as well and then also i'm using some findings these are from tiara cast little metal spacers and i thought that would look really good to bring out the metal in the pendant um, with the amethyst beads and then I will leave a link down below as well for any of the specialty kits if they are still available. The pendant is a kit exclusive, so it's only available in there. And they had jump rings with the kit, so I went ahead and attached a Tierra Cast butterfly charm on there just to kind of add a little special meaning to it and then paired it with the amethyst, one of my favorite gemstones. Let's go ahead and start creating. So for the necklace, I'm going to cut about 22 inches of the soft flex wire. We have our wire. And then I'm just going to go ahead and string on this pendant. So beautiful. And if you watch the soft flex design kit unboxing, they had a lot of good ideas. And I love how with the darker color Softlex wire and the purple amethyst, you can see through the amethyst because it is a lighter shade. Um, if you were to use a tanzanite wire, you might not see it through the amethyst. So we're going to put on two beads, one on each side. And if you have a bead stopper, you can use those as well. We'll have our design. And I have these little crystals here on the side, the crystal AB, that I will just go ahead and kind of sprinkle into my design as well as the metal findings and spacers. And then I have the jump ring for my clasp. So I think I'm going to use two amethyst and maybe a metal spacer. Love this purple, just perfect for spring. You now the flowers are starting to be in bloom. So we'll put the metal spacer on. As you can see, it just picks up with the metal tones of the pendant, just kind of makes it pop in that butterfly as well. I think now I'm gonna add on a crystal and I'm gonna add this little like barrel faceted crystal. So we're going to do two more amethyst on each side. I think that's going to be my spacing. So I'm just going to string those on. And then these are amethyst rondelles. Um, and they're fairly the same shape, but they are unique because they're gemstones. So they're individually cut. We'll put those on and then we're going to add our pop of sparkle and then you can see that soft luck shine through as well how pretty we'll just go ahead and keep stringing on our beads and um, switching back and forth between the metal beads and the crystals I've reached the desired length of my necklace and then I had a little um, design change. Does that happen to anyone else when they're designing? They think they know what they want for their project and then it just kind of changes mid-design. 
So since I was really enjoying seeing the soft flex wire show in my design, I didn't add as many beads and I'm just going to have the wire show in the back of the necklace. Add the two by two so it would keep the bead stationary or you could just add it at the end and then attach your clasp. So completely up to you. Um, I'm going to add one on here just to make it stationary. So we're just going to slide on our two by two. First of all, we want to make sure our necklace is even. Looks like it is. We're just going to go ahead and give it a smash and squeeze, and then we'll just rotate and squeeze, and it'll round it off for you. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. And then we'll just rotate and squeeze. So now we have our necklace that's stationary. And then we'll just double check or triple check, make sure that the wires are fairly the same size so we can add on our clasp. And then I'll be using this butterfly clasp a toggle, which is um, from Tierra Cast, it's one of my favorite toggles that they made. Then I went ahead and attached a few more jump rings together just to make like a little bit of an extender chain. So we're going to go to the end of our soft flex wire, put on one more two by two, and then we're just going to fold back. And you should have a little loop. And then same thing, we're just going to come in and smash and rotate. And you'll have a little bit of a tail, and we'll just go and trim that off here in just a moment. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Pass it back through. You want to make sure, again, that they are the same size. You can match them up together. Just kind of adjust them if needed. And the same thing, just go and give it a smash and rotate. And then we're going to trim our little tails off. Take our nipper. Same thing on the other side. Making sure that we don't cut the wire that we need. Now we're just going to attach our jump rings. So we're going to open up our jump ring. And when we open up our jump ring, we never want to pull them apart. We just want to gently twist side by side. We're going to attach, oops, attach on that jump ring to your wire and then attach it to the extender. And the extender part is completely optional. And then we're just going to close and do the same thing on the other side. And also by leaving the soft flex wire showing at the back of the necklace, it makes for a lighter necklace. Because gemstones can add some weight to a project. And then if you ever wanted to adjust um, the style of your necklace, you could just shorten your extender chain. Or your jump ring chain. And then we're just going to open up the last two jump rings on here and attach this butterfly clasp. Slide on our toggle bar and close. And same thing on the circle. Oops, open my jump ring on the wrong end. So gentle twist, slide on that toggle and close. You'll hear that little pop in place when it's all secure. So we have the ending here of our necklace. And then we have our beautiful necklace with the amethyst, some check glass crystal AB, metal spacers, and then this beautiful pendant, I am brave, fearless, and strong. And then that adorable little butterfly charm that just kind of flutters around the pendant. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe for further content, tutorials, and unboxings. Have a wonderful day.